Hey, what's going on YouTube? <clears throat> I just want to have a, a little short chat. I got rumors and uh, nothing's confirmed, uh, but the markets are acting crazy, uh, being that uh, the Brexit has won. The Brits have uh, chosen to leave the EU. Uh, congratulations. Um, congratulations to the people. Um, this uh, global global governance uh, for the past 20 years in the EU um, looks like it's failing. Failing hard. If the Brits leave, uh, the last country to hold it up is Germany. And um, I don't think they're going to stand for it. Uh, the whole thing's going to collapse. Uh, France, uh, a whole bunch of other countries are, already have uh, referendums on the schedule to uh, vote to leave the EU. So congratulations, you dumbasses. You can't even do anything right. Central banking, central governance, you're all going down in the toilet. So I love it. Uh, here we go. The Dow. Up 230 points yesterday. Everyone was touting, oh, yeah, yeah, this is wonderful. Oh, yeah, well... <laughs> Whatever. Let's look at the S&P futures tonight. Down. 100 points. Down. 100 points. 101. And, and, and continuing. All right. Every 10 points is 100 on the Dow. So look for the Dow. To have a thousand point drop tomorrow morning. Thousand point drop tomorrow morning. A gap and run. <laughs> uh, anything's possible. Uh, so, anyways, the rumors are Brexit wins. Uh, what we got here is S&P futures, which has more emphasis than the Dow. So I don't know why anyone would follow the Dow. There's only like 30 stocks. And they keep switching out the best stocks in the Dow. So it's kind of useless to me. It's not really a measurement. It's like a, a brainwashing measurement, really. Anywho, you see the long-term chart, right? You see the downward trend line broke it thoroughly on the downside. Look for an 1800 break in the very near future. Um, could it happen overnight? Whew. I do not doubt it. Uh, let's see. US dollar did take a, uh, I just had a video and I said, you know, we got a lower high. We got a previous high break. Um, the price was below the EMA 8 and um, since this all uh, started on the downside for the S&P. This started going up. So I'm not sure what the correlation is. But um, it has reached its uh, point of uh, natural return to the median uh, trend line, the 34 SMA. So it tapped it, backed off. Uh, I don't know where it's going to go. It could naturally go higher. I, I'm not sure yet. Uh, if, if all the other currencies in the world go down, yes, the dollar could go up. So let's see. Uh, let's just take a look at the S&P as the futures as uh, continued on the downside. Now we're at 103. 103.37. Continue, continue, continue. <laughs> Anyways, we have a confirmed breakout. On the monthly chart, um, we got 1332, well beyond the high was 1361. This thing, this thing took off like a bandit. Boom! Flat top break. Hope you guys saw that. That was wonderful. Uh, silver is lagging, uh, but it did have a breakout above 1800 or 18, uh, $18. Um, boom. Another one. 
just want everyone to know that these markets are beneficial to gold and silver and um, I feel sorry for everybody that has pensions um, this thing's coming down it's gonna come down hard and I'm sorry that no one listened I've been touting get out of the system for I don't know how long since 2008 before before 2008 crash is when I knew something was wrong and um, you know I'm the kook I'm the conspiracy theorist and um, I, you know I, you're gonna lose everything in an instant where I've been uh, steadily gaining and buying precious metals on a weekly monthly basis for the past 16 years um, and you know I, I don't know what to tell you you're gonna lose it you're gonna lose it all I'm very sorry for you see ya